Hi, today we're going to talk about taking two points and making an equation of a line. And unfortunately, this is my third start. And so I've already done this a few times. So we're just going to start right here. We had two points, an x1, y1, and an x2, y2. And I plugged it into my, my slope, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. You can see I use my y2 minus my y1 and my x2 minus my x1, and I simplified. And I put into my equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You can see the colors, but right here, we find the slope. That's gonna go in for our m. And then we have our x1, y1, we're gonna put in. The first thing, if we have any double negatives like we did on the first problem, we're gonna simplify, which means that that double negative is gonna become a positive. After we Simplify, we're going to distribute, so we're going to have 1 8 x and plus 5 8 and then we're going to either add or subtract to get y by itself. Let's go ahead and work through another process. So as you can see, I've got them color-coded, so I've got this y2 is 3 minus my x1, excuse me, my y1, which is 1. So y2 minus y1, and now I'm going to do x2, or this negative 5, minus my x1, which is 5. So we're going to actually do what it says. It says 3 minus 1 is 2, and negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. Then we're going to hit math, enter, enter. If you don't have that calculator, you're going to have to know um, to simplify by dividing each of those by 2. And so now it is negative 1 fifth. And this right here is my slope. That's what M stands for. So my equation is y minus y1. So I'm going to go back to this point right here. y minus y1, which is 1, equals my slope, or m, is negative 1 fifth, and then x minus x1. So you can see we use this slope right here, and we used our point for our y1, x1. So there's not any double negatives this time, so we don't have to do that step. We're going to go straight to distribute. So I'm going to have y minus 1 equals negative 1 fifth times x is negative 1 fifth x. A negative times negative is a positive, and 1 fifth times 5 is 1. Then I'm going to either add or subtract to get y by itself. It says y minus 1, so I'm going to add 1 to the other constant. So y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 2. All right, moving on to the next one. We've got our y2, which is right here, negative 4, minus our y1, which is 2. x2 is negative 5, minus our x1, which is a negative 2. So there's a difference. Make sure you practice this in your calculator, but a negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. But this says negative 5 minus a negative, which actually turns to a positive 2, which is why it's negative 3. And we're going to have a slope of 2. A negative divided by negative is a positive. So I'm going to use that slope and our point x1, y1 to do our equation. y minus y1 equals m, so this one for my slope, and then x minus x1. Okay, so we've got it all set up. I do have a double negative, so I would suggest you simplify first. I've got y minus 2 equals 2 times x plus 2. We want to just simplify it. It'll make it easier whenever we distribute, which is next. We're going to distribute, so y minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. And the last thing we're going to do is either add or subtract in order to get y by itself. It says y minus 2, so we're going to add 2 to the other constant, combine like terms. So y equals 2x plus 6. Here's the next two. Maybe you just take a moment to pause and try them yourself. See if you can find the slope and the line. Okay, hopefully you tried that. So going to right here, number seven, we got y2 is negative one minus my y1, which is two, and my x2, negative five minus two. 
So I'm hoping that you guys tried this with your slope and you got a negative three, negative seven. So my final slope, a negative over a negative is a positive. So a positive three sevenths. How'd you do? I hope you got it right. Here's our x1, y1. So we're gonna say y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't have any double negatives, so we're going to first distribute. So we're gonna say y minus two equals our three sevenths x, and three times two would make that six sevenths. Then we would add two to the other side, but that's got a remainder of seven. So if you don't have a calculator, you would have to know that that means 14 sevenths. So that is y equals 3 sevenths x plus 8 sevenths. Your calculator should be able to do that for you. Remember, if you haven't already, you should download the free app, Calculate 84. And that gives you the same calculator that we used to have those yellow calculators at Hunter High. And hopefully that will help you. All right, moving on. So we've got our y2, negative 5, minus our y1, positive 5. Our x2, 4, minus our x1, 5. So when we do our math there, we get a negative 10 over a negative 1, which would be a positive 10. That's our slope. Using that, and my first point, I say that we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. All right, so then we're going to distribute y minus 5 equals 10x minus 50. And then we're going to add 5 to both sides, combining those like terms. So y equals 10x minus 45. All right, so that's the left-hand side. You should try the right-hand side, at least a few of them, get some, some help. But on the next page, it's more of the same. And so what I did is I already did the slope for you. And we're just going to practice this right here, our new step. Oops, goodness. So that is the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So once again, I've already plugged in my point of this 0, negative 5, and my slope of 2. And so the first thing I would tell you to do is to simplify. Because I've got this double negative, I've got y plus 5 equals 2 times x minus 0. And I know, you're like, Cooper, we could have got rid of that, dis that minus 0, but, you know, it's just not... Um, it's not worth it. Just keep doing the same thing over and over again and you'll get into a rhythm of it. So now I'm going to distribute. I've got two times x is two x and two times zero is zero. And then I'm going to either add or subtract in order to get y by itself. It says y plus five, so I'm gonna subtract five. And that's why my answer is y equals two x minus five. Same thing on number three, I've already set it up. We've got our, our y minus y1 equals our m times x minus x1. This time we don't need to simplify though. There's no double negatives, so we're just going to go straight into distributing. So we got y minus five equals nine halves x, and then nine halves times negative two is just going to be um, negative nine. Then we're gonna get y by itself, and um, it says y minus five, so we're going to add five each side. So y equals nine halves x minus four. Okay, from the beginning this time, we're gonna do y minus y1 equals m and x minus x1. Again, there's a lot of shortcuts you could take here, but we do the exact same thing every time and we are successful at it. So I hope you will as well. So we got this double negative. So we got y plus one equals, and I'm gonna go ahead and distribute zero x minus zero. And then I'm gonna, uh, because it says y plus one, I'm gonna subtract one. So technically we have y equals zero x minus one, that works, or it's 
um, y equals negative 1. And we can see that right here. Both the y's were negative 1, and so that is a proper equation. All right, looking at the next one, we've got y minus y1 equals x, or excuse me, the slope m, and then x minus x1. Oop, lights just went on me, sorry. I think you can still see. So the first thing we're gonna do is simplify, and then we're going to distribute Remember, if I'm writing too fast, you can always pause. Just don't want to make super long videos. And then right here we have y plus 5, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Okay, and so that's really 25 fifths. So I think that's six, negative 16. I'm just going to check real quick. Yep, I was right. Negative 16 fifths. Okay, and last one here on the left-hand side, we're going to use our first point and our slope. So y minus y1 equals the m times x minus x1. So there's no double negative, so we're just going to distribute negative 1x. Negative times negative makes that positive 0. And then we're going to solve. Because it says minus 0, we're going to add 0. So silly, but by doing it the same way every time, we should be successful. This works, or technically, it's just y equals negative x. The next page is really, the next two pages are about solving. So you can see I've already highlighted my y's because it says solve for y. So we want to rewrite it in y equals mx plus b form. And again, that m is our slope and the b is our y-intercept, which we already knew how to graph. So that's what we're trying to get to. So how do I get y by itself? Well, right here I've got y and I've got a positive x with it or plus x. So I'm going to subtract x on both sides. So y equals negative x minus 15. We like to put that x in front because now it's in y equals mx plus b form. So I can see that my slope is negative 1 and my y-intercept is negative 15. So that's why we try to put it in that format. Looking at number 3, I've got this negative 2x. It says y plus, but I've got a negative 2x. So the only way to get rid of a negative 2x is to add 2x. So y equals a 2x, and that's a positive 1, so plus 1. The next one is a little bit more difficult. It says 2 times y, or 2y. But i got to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide everything by 2. It's going to cancel out, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. And I've got a negative 1 half x minus, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So again, we can see our slope is the negative 1 half, and our y-intercept is negative 4. Moving to the back page. I'm going to work through the first one. I'm going to have you guys pause here in just a moment. So again, um, this is the closest. When we talk about PEMDAS, like we did before, we want to work backwards. So if there's an add or subtract with our Y, we want to get rid of the outside layer. Think about peeling an onion. That's a positive 8X, so we're going to subtract 8X to the other side, giving me negative 4Y equals negative 8X plus 20. And I want to get Y by itself. That's negative 4 times y, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. So y equals a negative over a negative is a positive. And then a positive 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. If you said plus negative 5, it's not wrong. It's just not how we usually write it. Okay, I'm, going to I'm going to ask you to pause right here. Can you please try to solve the rest of these? All right, hopefully you did. So right here we got a 2x plus y, so we should have subtracted 2x to the other side. So y equals a negative 2x, and that said negative 11, so minus 11. Number 5, it says 3 times y, so we're going to divide everything by 3. And so y equals a 4 thirds x, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. 
and the last one. See, you want to just add or subtract 9, but do you see this parentheses over here? There's a lot going on. We've got to take care of that first. So we're going to distribute 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 5 is 10. Then we can get rid of that plus 9 by subtracting 9 to the common term. We can combine like terms to make that y equals 2x plus 1. Oops. Thank you for joining us today.